hi there guys it has been a while since i made my last video um this is the only place that can get really good lighting and <laughs> it can be kind of uh loud because of all the cars that are going past so just just don't mind that but anyways in today's video we're going to be talking about supplements and like prescriptive like medications that i take um while having pcos wanted to put a disclaimer here i'm not a professional i'm not a doctor and most of the research that I've done, I've done it according um, to myself and what I feel like I might need. Um, so I would say do your research um, before taking any supplements just to get advice from a doctor um, and see if that's something that is suited for you. And especially if you take any other medications, especially prescriptive medications, you don't want to just, you know, take any supplements which may affect it. So definitely you know get in touch with a doctor and see what they can do for you so one of the big things that i want to point out um is that most of the information that i've gained is on my own accord um and i've looked at like instagrammers and pcos specialists um who specialize in it um and see what they recommend and what the supplements actually help with in regards to pcos so unfortunately especially many of us who have pcos and have had to go to the doctors we get told that the only way that they are going to really help us um out or even if they're going to diagnose us with it is that we have to either one take be on the pill um which is the contraceptive pill to get our period back or we just have to come back and they will help us out when we want to have a child and Unfortunately, you know, everyone's main goal is to have a child, is to look after their health and see what they can do better for themselves. Um, and honestly, if PCOS goes for too long where it's not been diagnosed and it's not being treated, then it can have major side effects because some people can go severely overweight, they have insulin resistance, which means it can lead, lead to diabetes um, and many other things like mood swings, mental health issues. And sometimes the doctor not, not diagnosing us with that, um, you know, that's what can happen. And if they don't help us out, and it could get even more worse. But um, I also want to say thank you so much on all the love in my previous uh, video for the PCOS one, because I got to speak to so many people that are on the same journey as me. And I get to learn alongside you guys as well if you guys hear me sniffling and coughing it's because i am very unwell at the moment um but i i wanted to make this video because i see so many people commenting underneath the video and um just telling me about their journey and also like what improvements they made and like how helpful that is like also for me um yeah and all the love that i've been getting um so i want to just kind of do another video of all the supplements that I kind of take to help me um, out with my whole PCOS journey. Let's just get straight to the video and uh, list all the, uh, sorry, all the prescriptive medication that I take and all the supplements that I take. So the one thing that I kind of want to get out and out of the way is my prescriptive medication that I take. So the only prescriptive medication that I take is metformin. Um, so this, you can't get over the counter, you can't just buy it anywhere. You would have to go to the doctors and they have to prescribe you with this some doctors don't prescribe you unless you you know ask them however there are side effects to taking metformin but let's just get straight into what metformin is good for so metformin is a prescriptive drug mainly used for diabetes it helps lower blood sugar levels can be used to treat pcos symptoms especially insulin type pcos so when i was prescribed metformin i was actually severely overweight i was at 103 kg um and one thing that was happening with me is i was getting like a ring around my neck um i was getting like they call like skin tags um so i was getting skin tags i was just really overweight like nothing was helping me out and when my doctor um diagnosed me with pcos once i did ask them <laughs> they diagnosed me um and and they also did all the tests one of the newest things that came out was metformin and i think it was kind of newer in the uk so she prescribed me with uh, metformin um so i want to like let you guys know that there are side effects to taking metformin um and so so many people don't take it because they don't want to go through that side effect and side effects and that's okay 
So the main side effects that I faced when I was on metformin is I felt nauseous all the time. Um, I had loose stools and diarrhea. Um, and that was also when I wasn't eating properly. Um, I had like headaches um, and that was all in the beginning um, because my body was getting used to all of that. However, it did help me lose weight quite quickly without needing to work out or like you know just i was already eating like a normal amount so yeah <laughs> finally being able to eat the normal amount and not having to work out i was losing weight and it really helped me out um and i've been on it for now i think it's going to be like two years or three years in december this year so i've been on it for quite some time i'm not gonna lie there's something that i want to get off of because i don't want to always be on prescriptive like medication and i don't want to become reliant on it and I want to try like different methods, but unfortunately I am reliant on it. And I feel like if I stop taking it, I will just, you know, not be able to lose weight or my symptoms will all come back. But yeah, those are some of the side effects of metformin, but there are way more. Um, there's actually a range of them. So it depends on you, how you kind of want your body to go through stuff. And sometimes people don't have these side effects at all and it works perfectly for them. Um, so the next one that I take is Myova, which is basically just inositol. So you can buy like inositol uh, products um, and that will help you out. But the supplements that I take that is also quite got good reviews and is well known is Myova. So Myova contains inositol, folate and chromium. And it's a supplement that helps with your ovary health. It helps body to process insulin better um, and is as effective as metformin minus the side effects so one thing that i did start taking was um alongside with metformin was this supplement um i didn't know that it worked the same way as metformin but i was taking this at the same time however it is on the pricey side you can get tablets a bit cheaper than this um and it's not like you know it's not like an actual brand one so you can find them on amazon um, but that's something that I slowly want to get back into and maybe come off of metformin and hopefully see if this is something that will help. Um, but yeah, I did start taking my over as well. It's a natural way of treating your PCOS. Um, and it is something that a lot of the PCOS specialists like recommend as well. Um, taking inositol and like my over supplements and many more. Um, but yeah, so I have, I did take my over, I stopped for a little while, and now I take uh, two tablets every day. I think you take, the portion size that you take is the same you would probably take with metformin. I think it's around 2,000, so you have to take like four big tablets um, every day. I would say one with each meal, and like or like two for breakfast, and then one with each meal. So the next supplement that I'm going to be talking about is something called saw palmetto. So, um, saw palmetto is something that I started taking for myself because I started getting a lot of hair loss. Like, my hair used to be much more fuller than this. And even on the top, like, you can just end up seeing that on this side, like, I have a lot of hair loss. And that started coming around about when I hit my 20s and my PCOS symptoms got even more worse. Um, my hair just started falling out like crazy. Um, so... I did a lot of research and I found out that apparently saw palmetto is quite good as well for hair loss. So saw palmetto is found from an extract of a fruit. It helps eliminate testosterone and helps with hair loss and facial hair growth. So one of the things that happen when you have PCOS is that you have, your hormones are everywhere and you might end up having higher like testosterone in your body than um, a normal woman would. Um, and so that just leads to like male pattern baldness as well and saw palmetto helps with reducing that so i do take saw palmetto i take one tablet every day in the morning um and literally touch wood <laughs> that's what i'm gonna say uh, but touch wood i have not been having so much hair fall out um since i started to take it my hair would come out in chunks like i would just do this and like my hair would be in my hand and I'm like oh my god what the hell's happening um so yeah that has been helping me out quite a lot um as well and so I've been taking it for the PCOS hair loss side of things um so soul palmetto is quite good for that um you can do all your research as well a lot of um like 
there's something called a DHT like hormone which um, I don't, I'm not sure if it's a hormone but it's something called DHT that we just end up producing um, and then that's what leads to male pattern baldness and so even uh, a male can take saw palmetto and it would help with their hair loss so the next one that I take is vitamin D so vitamin D keeps bones, teeth and muscles healthy um, women with PCOS are more likely to be vitamin D deficient they're known to help with egg development and great for better mood so I started taking vitamin D because I live in the UK I don't have enough uh, sun intake that a South Asian person should have and you know you can go to India and that's where you get your proper sun intake and you know your vitamin D is good I've done um, blood tests and always my vitamin D is low my iron is low so that's something that I started taking which was vitamin D so one of the, one of the effects of vitamin D is that you have better mood so people with PCOS are more likely to be depressed have anxiety and that could be because they're lacking in certain vitamins their hormones are everywhere so being able to have vitamin D helps with your mood swings or your mood in general um, so having it in the morning one time in the morning would be beneficial obviously get in touch with your doctors and see if they can prescribe you with a higher dosage if needs be but yeah i started taking vitamin d for that reason and also it's really good for for, for your eggs and the uh, egg development so i would say like even someone that's trying to get pregnant like or they want to have a baby you know it's really good for that um so vitamin d is just like essential things that you should be having anyways and if you're from like the ethnic minority like 100 percent take your vitamin d every day uh we need that especially living in like countries like maybe america or the uk or western countries we're not getting enough sun um and vitamin d in our system so 100 percent take your vitamin d so the next up supplement that i do take is biotin well initially i would say that i started taking biotin because of my hair loss i didn't know about saw palmetto but biotin doesn't really help with um like pattern boldness it helps with like healthy hair and healthy nails because nails can get brittle with pcos um, and your hair can also start thinning out so taking biotin is quite important um, for healthy hair healthy nails but yeah biotin helps with healthy hair growth nails and skin it is known to help with blood sugar levels it helps with insulin production and helps with the metabolism so as you can see with biotin as much as that's what I thought it was it actually helps with some of the known symptoms in PCOS as well so taking biotin is something that can be helpful for symptoms like your insulin resistance um it also helps with like blood sugar levels um and it also helps with your metabolism uh you know metabolism can be something that is genetics um but yeah this will also help you with your metabolism as well women with pcos can lack vitamin b12 especially when taking metformin it helps with fatigue and if you are a vegetarian or vegan it is important to take b12 so I started taking B12 because um, I found out that when you take metformin, your B12 level goes down. And especially if you have PCOS, your B12 level um, is quite low. So it's really important to take B12. Um, many women with PCOS will suffer from having like lack of sleep, um, but and they're always feeling tired. They can't go like throughout their day without feeling tired by like half day like that's something i was going through a lot like i had to battle that and i was constantly sleeping felt like i never had the energy to do anything but it is because you end up lacking b12 um so b12 is very important when you have pcos um and i would 100 percent recommend taking b12 for that lastly ashwagandha so ashwagandha helps with stress it helps balance cortisol levels and it's known to help with energy levels as well so I initially started taking ashwagandha because I have a lot of mental health issues and apparently it helps with your anxiety and something I dealt with every day was anxiety and if you have PCOS you're more likely to have anxiety um, in your day to day life and you're, you don't have control over your anxiety at all so uh, one thing that I found out was that ashwagandha helps with that so yeah it helps with stress, your cortisol levels um because your cortisol levels can be quite high when you have pcos so it is very important uh, to help uh, balance all of that as i keep mentioning 
your hormones are everywhere like it's out of whack when you have PCOS that's why you have facial hair growth that's why you start losing hair on your head and you're hairy but you're not hairy up there and it's just like you deal with so many stress so many mood swings you can't lose weight and it's all about like knowing what your body needs um if everything in your body is out of whack then things are not going to work out the way it's meant to work out even when you're doing all the right things so yeah that's the end of my video <laughs> these are just some of the supplements that i take i don't um want people to go off and just buy all these supplements i 100 percent will tell you guys to do your research follow these instagrammers up here um who will be able to give you more tips on what you might need especially with food um supplements or anything um and see what you feel like you might need um, and what you go through in your day-to-day -day life is make sure before taking supplements that you also get your blood tests done because those blood tests can do wonders where you find out that your certain vitamins are low um, and you just take those supplements and you may feel 10 times more better um i think one of the things that happens with ptos is that we're not we don't have the right supplements um and we lack certain vitamins um and we don't know that and we just go throughout our day-to-day -day life feeling sorry for ourselves when there might be supplements that might actually help you guys um but yeah i just want to say lastly is if there's any videos that you want me to make or anything that you guys would like me to tell you guys in the next video definitely just leave all your questions down below i can try and do a question a q a if i can but yeah thank you for being so supportive especially this community it is definitely so supportive we are filled with mothers who are not able to have a child and they're trying their best we are you know i'm getting questions from people that are young you know dealing with pcos or started off just like me um or people that are metformin or have done it the natural way and it's just amazing to be able to see this community and what they can do and you know i just never thought that there was so many people out there until now and there's just not enough content that has gone out um in regards to like pcos no one really talks about it um i do see it on tiktok so 100 percent recommend to go on tiktok um where you can see people like share their stories and you don't feel alone because a lot of the women have pcos and we're left there not being told anything it's all silent especially from the doctors uh doctors for some reason can't help us out um and with pcos it's an ongoing type of thing where they're still figuring out what what might help us and yeah just want to let you guys know that you guys are not alone and i'll see you guys in the next video bye